Hello everybody, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to show you how to make some Polish pierogies. Um, if you've ever eaten pierogies in the store, they're, you know, they're okay, but they cannot compare to homemade, fresh dough, fresh filling and everything in your pierogies. If you watched my previous video, my introduction, I talked a little bit about my Scottish background and my family history. Well, unfortunately, the Scottish history doesn't have a lot of cuisine to add to that. So thankfully, I do have another side of my family, which is mainly Polish and German. So that's actually where I got this recipe, which is from my grandmother, which she in turn got from her mother and her mother. Um, the recipe itself is pretty simple. It's only a few ingredients. We've got flour, oil, salt, water, and optional, an egg. Um, you mix them all together. The dough itself is just gonna be a little bit crumbly and you need to let it sit for about 30 minutes. So I've done that already, so I don't take up your time. So this dough right here that we have has already been sitting for about 30 minutes, so it's ready to roll out. So once you're ready, we're gonna take it out. As you can see, a little small dough ball here. There's no yeast or anything like that. So it's basically just a, just a wrapping dough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of flour right here on the mat so that we can roll this out. We're gonna roll it out to about one eighth of an inch thickness, and that's where we're gonna put our stuffing, pinch it over, and have little like half moon shapes. So you wanna make sure you get a lot of flour right on the mat so it doesn't stick, and you're also gonna add a little bit onto your rolling pin here, and we're gonna go ahead and start rolling it out. And every time I do this, I, I look down and I think I'm doing it backwards because I never use the handles. I find it easier to press down right from the top. It makes it go a little bit harder and you can get it a little bit thinner. So we're going to roll this out to a nice thin dough. Oh. Yay rolling. <laughs> and then we're going to cut it. What I use is just a regular glass with a little bit of a wide rim. We're going to dip it in the flour so it doesn't stick to the dough. So once we have it at the desired thickness, we're going to place it in there, just press down and turn. And now what you've got is just this small circle piece of dough. If you want to stretch it out for bigger ones, you can use a bigger cup, you can use a bowl, you know, however big you want your pierogies really is how big of a, an item that you need. So once you have that little circle here, then you decide what you're going to stuff the pierogies with. For this demonstration, what I'm going to use is just your basic potato and cheese. I didn't make homemade potatoes this time. It's just a instant potatoes with some garlic and butter herb. Makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to take about a teaspoon of that and put it right in the middle of this. And then from there, I'm just going to take a little sprinkle of cheese, put it on top. And then I'm going to fold it over, and that's going to make a little half moon shape. And now just leaving it like that would work, but for aesthetic reasons and also just to give it a little bit more strength at the seams, I'm going to use a fork. I prefer using a toddler fork just because it's a little bit shorter so you can get more leverage on it and you're not afraid of bending it. I've bent many, many forks doing these just from the angle that you're at. So we're just going to press down right along the edges, all the way around, and there you have it. You've got a nice, pretty stuffed pierogi with potatoes and cheese. Once they're all stuffed, you're going to pop them in a pot and boil them for maybe about five to eight minutes. Once they're done, they're going to be floating along the top and they're ready to eat. However, they're much better if you saute them after you boil them. So just a little bit of garlic, butter in a saute pan, toss them in there, flip them over, beautiful. Uh, serve it with a little bit of sour cream on the side and you've got an awesome side dish or snack or even a main dish if you have enough of them. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed my presentation. Um, if you're interested in cooking as much as I am and if you like authentic cuisine, uh, I think you'll definitely love these pierogies. If you'd like the recipe, you're more than happy to email me. 
Um, I can send it to you. I can post it on the discussion board, whichever you like. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.